From the sky, Midlands Airport appears no more remarkable than its ranking, the 128th busiest in the United States. But on the ground, it's number one in a new era of air travel. I've now set foot in what has been renamed the Midland International Airport and Spaceport. It is incredible to think that just in the last century, aviation has gone from that to private rockets propelling people into space. Well, I don't know if words can describe exactly how excited we are about it. Midland is the first primary commercial airport to receive Federal Aviation Administration approval to offer space flights to the public. Why here? The land surrounding the airport is sparsely populated, the airspace mostly clear, and Midland's existing runways are long enough to handle a vehicle that possibly by the end of next year will take a passenger 62 miles up. Like this? Steeper, steeper. The ticket would cost you $100,000, and you'd be buying it from XCOR Aerospace, run by Andrew Nelson. We are standing at the future home of XCOR's research and development flight test center and corporate headquarters. The private space flight company is building a hangar steps from the Midland Terminal. Soon, it'll house the Lynx rocket plane, still in development. This side, the left side, is the pilot astronaut and this side is the flight participant. The two-seater will be no bigger than a private jet. It'll take off horizontally from the same runway as any other plane, but with one key difference. This one goes a lot faster than those other airplanes. How fast? This will fly up to Mach 3.5, which is 1,000 meters per second. What is that in miles per hour? Uh, miles per hour, it's a whole lot. It's, uh, it's about 3,400. Uh, miles per hour. Literally faster than a speeding bullet. Enough force to get passengers past the edge of space to experience six minutes of weightlessness before coming back to Earth. The whole flight will last 30 minutes. Nelson says even in this development stage, more than 300 people have signed up. There are folks who have dreamed about this their whole life and have used their savings. Uh, uh, people who, you know, at a very young age got excited by the Apollo program or Star Trek or Buck Rogers. Gosh, it, it, to me, it's, it's, it would be unbelievable to, to, uh, to see the Earth, you know, like astronauts see the Earth, and to, to see how really insignificant and small uh, we are compared to the whole universe. Back in the Midland Terminal, we found plenty of interest in the idea. Oh, I want to go be like the Jetsons. I want to go see. I'm 48 years old. I'm ready to do something exciting. Something exciting and something new in West Texas, now the new frontier between Earth and space. Heidi Joe Castro, Al Jazeera, Midland, Texas.